Hey guys, North Central here. Thanks for tuning in. Well, about three months ago or so, I ended up getting a pop-up camper, and we got it used. And turn around here. Here it is. You can see it's down right now, so I'm not going to give a, a view of it or anything like that. But there were some things that were uh, uh, wrong with it that I had to fix. The first thing is this piece right here this whole front piece I had to uh, replace it um, came out pretty good uh, a little bit of work but I got it uh, second thing is we're thinking about taking it out this weekend and this is a 2004 and I don't know if the wheel bearings have ever been greased or not in it um, it seems to be in pretty good shape overall it does have some rust in it so it's been out in the weather a little bit but I'm going to take the wheels off, check the wheel bearings, and then repack the wheel bearings. So stick around. This is what we're going to do right now. All right, so first of all is getting the jack in position. Mine, this piece right here that's rusted here, this little metal piece, this is the dust cover, okay? The bearings are in here behind this. You got a front bearing, and of course you got a back bearing behind the axle. And you have to take the wheel off to be able to get this whole piece out and get the bearings and everything. Some of them have a, you take this dust cover off and they have a zerk fitting right here. Mine doesn't have that. I actually have to take the bearings out and pack them with grease, okay? So this is an older style um, axle. So I've got it, the jack position. I'm gonna go ahead and get my impact, take the bolts off and uh, get into it. Now that those are loose, I'm going to go ahead and jack this the rest of the way up. Just like that. Wheel off. Alright, there it is. This is pretty easy to get off. You just take a screwdriver and hammer. It's got a little lip on it. And just peck it a little bit. You just start working your way around and prying it off. It should come off fairly easy. Just like that. And you can see it's got a little bit of grease in it. There's the lip I was talking about. And it's just hold on, held on there by friction. Next thing you should do is get some paper towels, clean off the grease as much as you can here, and get a pair of needle nose pliers. All right, so this is called a castle nut. Okay, and you see it's fairly loose. I'm sitting there moving it. It's held in place there. The reason it won't turn is because it's got a cotter key right here. It's got to take that cotter key and straighten it out and take it off. <clears throat> Just like that, it comes right out. I always try to pre-bend it a little bit straighter because I'm going to use the same cutter key to go right back in. Like this is the messy part so I'm going to go ahead and put my gloves on. Okay, this nut screws off very easy. I'm just going to clean that off as much as I can. Next, you can move this just a little bit, okay? It's gonna have the, the bearing. And there it is. And you know, it's got quite a bit of grease on it, but I'm gonna go ahead and clean it off because we're gonna repack it. Set it right there. Next, slide the hub completely off. And there's a bearing right back here, right back here in the back. It won't go out this way. You got to take it out this way. Lots and lots of grease inside. So here's the bearing inside here. 
and you actually have to peck this out okay it won't go this way so you got to peck it out this way and what I do is I take one of my impacts and this is a the biggest one I got it's one and one sixteenth of an inch put it right on it take a hammer and start pecking it out and it'll come there it is right there clean up my socket and there it is right there all right so I've already got the back bearing packed with grease which is no big deal this is the front bearing here and you can see the gap here you see these are the bearings okay it's got a gap here and a gap here I use this gap here and what I do is I just get some grease and I put it down in the palm of my hand like this this is why I wear gloves I'm just going to take the grease and I'm going to pack it right up inside and I don't know if you can see that but you can see the grease as I'm packing it the old grease coming right out I'm going to do that all the way around until I get it good and packed this off here and that's that this thing is nice and greased you're gonna take it and if you can see it it's it's kind of in a cone shape okay if the cone was going this way it's kind of in a cone shape that cone okay goes in towards your axle the back one is exactly opposite nice and packed okay it's full of grease we're gonna put it in now if you can see this this is kind of cone shaped okay it's conclaved okay it's uh if it was in a cone it'd be going this way with, with with a cone coming out right we want that going towards inside the hub in the axle so like this right inside right up in there as good as you can you're gonna take your castle nut put it right back on there and it doesn't have to be tight but you don't want it loose so I get mine hand tight and then there's a little hole in here that you want to line up just like that you can take your cutter key right back through the hole and you're gonna bend these right back right back the way they were in this case this one was right across it like so and there it is repacking your bag now this, I'm gonna go ahead and take the grease out, out of this. So it's got a bunch of it in it. Don't need to be in there. All this is is just a dust cap. Keep dust from getting up inside your bearings and stuff, water and stuff like that out. Put this right back on there. Tap it on with a hammer. so and now we're ready to put the tire on putting them back on
changing the or greasing the bearings on my new pop-up that I got old pop-up that I got that's new to me uh, hope that helps uh, I'm gonna get cleaned up on this side a little bit hop over to the other side do that side and until uh, next time this is North Central thanks for watching